Okay, we're through with the little project now. The little hobo. Here he is. He's been uh, dipped in the antiquing solution, and he's been sprayed with uh, uh, Deft a couple of times, and you got yourself a little figure right here, see? See how that, that uh, antiquing solution just smooths out those, uh, it just, just smooths out that, uh, uh, those colors in there, and I just, I just love it, I'll tell you what. But when you, when you dip in the antiquing solution, you set it out for about 12 hours, and uh, don't spray it with, uh, don't immediately spray it with death. You want to let it uh, sort of dry uh, at least 12 hours or more. And then you can spray it with some death. And you got your little figure here, you see? And uh, he's a neat little figure. And uh, let me repeat the solution again. Uh, you get a quart of boiled linseed oil, a half a quart of mineral spirits, and then you take a, uh, you take this, this is what this is. This is burnt umber, artist colors, all colors. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, and they're in the tube, and you take a half a tube and mix that with the, with the boiling seed oil and with the uh, 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 mineral spirits, and you've got your solution, your antique solution. You just simply dip it out. I've shown it another. You just dip it inside, and you take it out, and you set it aside, and you let it dry. And uh, uh, then afterwards, you can spray it with death. Like I said, at least wait 12 hours or more to let it dry good, because it's an oil base. It's an oil. And um, whenever you use it, be sure to get you some Playtex Living Gloves. Don't reach your hand back into it because boiled linseed oil, I don't think it's that bad for you, or mineral spirits, but I still wouldn't. It's still all got chemicals in it, so you want to be sure and wear a Playtex Living Gloves. And be sure and uh, whenever you wipe off the glove with a paper towel, whatever, discard that paper towel. Uh, let it, uh, wet it wet it a little bit and discard it so it won't uh, catch on fire because the uh, boiled linseed oil is very flammable. Now, here's another, I want to show you another figure that I uh, recently did. Uh, he's just a little sad sack, I call. And he's done the same way, basically. He's, uh, uh, see the little cigar? He's holding the little cigar. And the little eyes are cut forward. And, and uh, he's just a little, uh, little, I call him a little sad sack. It could be anybody, man, uh, out of work, man, just, you know. But you see that little 5 o'clock shadow he's got on his, uh, and a little hole that I, I put in his uh, pants legs like that. So he was a fun little figure to do. He's he's about uh, he's about five inches high. He's about an inch higher than uh, than uh, uh, the little hobo. So I enjoy doing these figures. I really do. Uh, they're a lot of fun to do. Now uh, I wanted to introduce you to another thing here. We're not going to be doing this next, but. Uh, that these are called rough outs. And what a rough out is, is uh, a, whenever you take a carving class, you're going to find these. Uh, most instructors uh, will teach through it with a rough out because then they don't have to cut all the, uh, cut all the pieces out and stuff. Um, what these are is, is these, these actual pieces were taken from an original carving by a carver and then they were put in uh, rough out machines, which is basically routers, and that, that follows the, that router follows the thing and makes these rough outs, and what they're for is that you don't have to do any of the cutting out, you just get down to the detail and everything like that. So we're going to do a rough out uh, pretty soon, but here's a couple of hillbilly rough outs uh, from Mike Shipley uh, that uh, we're probably going to end up doing one of these, and they're a lot of fun, they really are, but they're a little bit more expensive than just buying the wood. I admit that. But you can get these at carbon shops. You can get them at Mike Shipley, uh, uh, Smoky Mountain Wood Carvers. You can get them at uh, Old Texas Wood Carving Shop. Uh, we have down here in Texas. Uh, they're just uh, they're a lot of fun to do, and we're going to do one. I'm going to show you how to do a rough out. But as you can see, uh, a router, uh, it, it basically just makes the outside form for you where you don't have to, uh, if you don't have a bandsaw. These are real popular for... Of course, teaching and for people that don't have band saws, they can order them. I think this one will run you around 15. This one will run you around 16, 17, something like that. So they're a little bit more. They are. But if you don't have a band saw and you don't have those things, then uh, band saw is expensive too. Then you can use a rough out also. And we're going to show you how to do that uh, in the next some lessons. I think our next lesson is going to be... Uh, on, I think we're going to carve a little dog, and then we're going to carve a coon, and he's going to be up a tree. It's going to be a little dual set thing that we're going to do. But anyway, 
there's our little figure, all done. And uh, I hope you have fun carving him. And right now, let me, let me say that on woodcarvingillustrated.com message board, go to the wood carving tutorials on the message board, and I have just put today the pattern, and uh, uh, he's about four inches high, and it's one and a quarter inches uh, thick is the wood for the head and the uh, body, and the pattern is on woodcarvingillustrated.com. It's on the message board on the wood carving tutorials, and it says pattern for YouTube uh, hobo. And you go there, and you can get the pattern off of there. So the pattern for the little guy is on there, and uh, I, I, that's the easiest way for me is to direct you to that. And uh, uh, so just go there, get the pattern, and, and have your ball. Okay. Well, I've enjoyed carving with you, and like I said, a lot of times, uh, sometimes it's, it's several weeks or more before I can get another piece in, but, but now that it's summertime, it's honeydew jobs, and I'm doing a lot of work for my mother. So, uh, plus I work a 12-hour shift in a refinery. But anyway, there's our, our little uh, hobo. I hope you enjoy him. And, and sometimes when you get a chance, send me a picture. If any of you do any, uh, put it on Wood Carving Illustrated and just show me what you're doing. And I appreciate so much everyone writing and, and uh, your messages. And God bless you, and you just have a good day now. All right.